<laughs> um, also with me is Dr. Bharat Pankania, Senior Clinical Lecturer at University of Exeter Medical School. Good evening. What are your thoughts on what you're hearing, Doctor? I sometimes wonder why you exist, to be honest with you, because a lot of these things that you spew out just send things that are worrisome to uh, people, uh, not uh, verified, not factual. Um, you just have your own agenda, and that's what I think. You are just spewing out your biased views. That's how I feel about you. I wasn't asking what you felt about me. I was asking you what you felt about the discussion. I feel about you, your statements, and, and, and the panelists that you brought together. I was brought up on this, uh, this program right now, told I'm going to have a one-to-one -one conversation with you, and suddenly I find myself in a panel. You find yourself in a what, sorry? In a panel discussion. You're not in a panel discussion, you're talking to me. Um, would you defend, what, what would you say about the findings of this report? Would you say that they're concerning and they should be looked at, or would you maintain your position that everyone else is a liar? I haven't read that report. I knew nothing about that report. I wasn't brought on the program to talk about the report. Therefore, it's an ambush. How do I know? I haven't read it. I know nothing about it. What do you think about the MHRA, Doctor? It is a regulatory body. It is staffed by very competent, very able people who have served the nation well. They have done their job in uh, being independent, independent of government, and they do a great job in protecting the health, well-being of the nation with regards to which medicines are used, how they're used, and they also do the follow-up work. It is very unfortunate that further to Brexit, we are, uh, the MHRA is working on its own uh, for the United Kingdom rather than uh, being as part of the European Medicines Agency because there is strength in numbers, strength in expertise. Having said all that, the MHRA is absolutely fit for purpose. Are the COVID vaccines, so-called vaccines, safe, Doctor? Well, with respect to uh, the many, many millions of doses of the vaccines that have been administered, we've had a few unfortunate um, side effects and unfortunate maybe some vaccine-related deaths. But overall, on the balance of uh, good versus harm, the good outweighs the harm by a large, large margin. Thank you very, very much. Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, right. An MHRA spokesman said no vaccine would be approved unless, unless the expected high standards of safety, quality and effectiveness are met. We closely review the yellow card reports, not according to this report you don't, submitted to us alongside safety data from other sources from the UK and internationally. We also work closely with our public health partners to evaluate data, the safety and effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines. And wiped under the carpet. Up